mind you, this is very much my sharp look. Let's see, what is your situation as of now? And what you need to hear from me. Leo's out there, so I'm going to rise in weakness. What you need to hear from me right now. Alright. Leo's out there. Your first card is the Ten of Wands. It's been a challenge so far. Whatever that situation was, it was difficult. Okay? You were struggling by yourself. It, it could be to make your ends meet. Okay? Financially, there was lots of struggles. You doing everything by yourself. Hmm? It's been a struggle so far. Some of you might be dealing with a Virgo or probably a Sagittarius. It's been a difficult journey and this has been weighing you down. Whatever it is, it has been weighing you down. It's been difficult. Okay, moving on. Leo's out there. What else? Your next card is this one. King of Swords. Some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius. Okay? Uh, you really want some kind of a transformation, a rebirth within your situation. Okay? Second chances. Things to turn around. That is why I feel like you are not even ready to just give up you are still holding on to the burden of your life. Okay, you were struggling, but you kept at it. Okay, because this shows me the past, how things were, how things are right now. But the reason why you never gave up is because you thought like the King of Swords, who is a very intellectual person, very intelligent. Okay, he is somebody who, who is very straightforward. He has a lot of wisdom. Okay? He's very fair in his judgments. He thinks everything very, you know, clearly. He has a very clear perspective about life. And he believed there is still an opportunity because we are looking at the Seven of Cups which speaks about opportunities out there. If you look at this person, this person is very opportunistic, okay? Mm, it, it's always like, you, you know, there's loads of choices, but it is out of reach. It is up in the clouds, but yet you believe, you believe, you know, you will still get there. If you keep trying hard, you will be able to grab onto whatever you want, like one day. Okay, because World Card came along with the Seven of Cups. You believe, like the King of Swords, that one day your life will change for the better. So I will keep doing what it takes to get there. It's not always going to be the Ten of Wands situation. Things will change. Okay, which is very impressive. Okay, because I don't see you giving up because you're optimistic about your future about your world changing around for the better. Moving on, some of you might be dealing with a Scorpio. Moving on, Leo's out there, what else? Your next card is the five sports. Exactly what I'm speaking about, not giving up. Just not giving up how much ever tough it was. Because if you look at this, everybody has left you know, they are not willing to fight this fight anymore because they feel like it's not even worth it. Okay? But you are still fighting it. Until your last breath. You're going to keep doing what you're doing until you, you get somewhere. Yes, two of pentacles. Um, if you look in this card, okay, in the traditional deck, uh, this person is actually, um, you know, uh, juggling these pentacles on a rocky shore, okay, on slippery rocks. And uh, the water behind him, the seas are like, you know, it's stormy. 
So it's trying to say how much of a sit, uh, shitty the situation is. This person knows what is important. I still need to juggle this whatsoever because it is important for him. He is focusing only on these pentacles which he's juggling. He cannot drop it because it's almost like his life depends on it. And in that deck, this person is standing on one foot. Uh, even here, but it's not all that uh, uh, visible. Uh, so he's juggling on one feet. So how much of a crappy your situation is right now, his focus is mainly on his duties, on his responsibilities. Okay, he is trying to balance his life out. He is trying to keep the focus. Because he knows one day he will get past all these hardships. That is why he is keeping on fighting the fight. Alright, some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn. Or probably an Aquarius. Moving on, Leos, what else, what else? Next card is the Devil. Again, that's a Capricorn energy. There is something which is tempting you. Something which you're waiting on. Okay? Even when I'm looking with this King of Swords and the Devil's energy, the reason why you are not giving up and not letting go, okay, there is something about you being bound. Okay? Bound by this. You feel like everything will be resolved, but... There is something about being bound to something which is toxic. Does that make sense? You might be clinging on to something which is toxic. It is not worth it because they're shifting the energy. They are speaking about you. Yeah, I was impressed for some time. But then they're showing me that is the way you're thinking. Because five swords is the center energy, the center card in your reading. I'm only pulling out five cards, so this is a center card. You are fighting a fight which is not worth it. You think you, you know, you have thought it through. This is the right thing to do. You're not willing to let go. You're not willing to let go because one day things are going to resolve. Okay, that is the reason why you are not going to give up on this burden which is weighing you down every single step you're taking. Okay, every single day it gets heavier and heavier. There is a shift in your energy right now when I'm uh, when they showed me the devil's energy. Because you might not be thinking straight. You are clinging on to something which is toxic for you. Hmm? You're just not willing to go uh, let it go. Even, it could be a person as well, okay? It could be a situation. The situation uh, is almost like it's not there anymore, but you are still hoping for it to come back. Because I'm looking at the three of wands, okay? There is a toxicity, everything will go back to where it was once upon a time. Things will come back to you if you keep, you know, waiting for it. Because that's not a good energy. Because if you look at this card again, the person you're waiting for has already left the field, okay, the battlefield. But you are waiting. That is why they showed me a clear picture. What you're waiting for is toxic. Because that person might not be interested anymore. Or whatever you have lost, okay, whatever that situation, it could be a job situation as well, whatever it is, it has gone out of your life and still you're waiting. No matter how long it takes, you're still willing to wait. And that is what they're telling me that is toxic. Because I see you wanting it to come back. Okay? This merchant is waiting for his ships to return. You are waiting for something to return. And that is toxic. Just a second. 
because you were uh, it, uh, it came out like this you very much emotionally overwhelmed by this you very much emotionally attached to the situation which you're waiting upon ah all right one last card for the leos out there is a pentacles You're hoping for this, okay? You're hoping for this. You, you even if I say whatever in in the negative aspect, okay? Just with this one card, they show you, they are showing you, or me showing me. You know, you will keep hanging in there because you are hoping for this ace to come through. You believe that. This Ace of Pentacles will be offered to you. Whatever you're waiting for, whatever you're fighting for, it will come through and you will succeed. It, it's almost like... Uh, your judgment is clouded. Because you're obsessed by this happening that you feel like, uh, you know, she doesn't know what she's speaking about. I know this is going to happen. I know they are going to come back. No matter what what bullshit she's saying right now, I know this is going to happen. That is a kind of story which is coming through. Okay? Because somebody is not going to give up no matter how difficult it is, no matter how impossible it is for the person to come back. You, st you feel like this will happen. You will get what you are seeking for. What you're waiting for with the three of wands, you're waiting for this ace of pentacles to come through. And it is huge for you. So something which is very important for you. That is why we got the king of cups. King of cups is all about your emotions, your you know, subconscious energy. For you, it is very important. For me, it's easy to say it isn't happening. But you're emotionally invested into it and you don't want to hear anything negative about this. That is why they gave me the twist in the story. They showed me, okay, this is all going well. But then, with these two cards, it shows me a clear picture of what's going on. Okay? That's all what I can say. Good luck. Okay? Because, because I can see it in your reading that whatever I say, it wouldn't make a difference. Because you feel like, like you are the king of swords. Okay? And you will keep fighting for this as long as this comes through. That's it for now. This is Vanishing Your Machado Shiloka. Until next time, bye-bye.